welcome to the session. In this session, we will discuss a question which says that in an AP, which is arithmetic progression, the first term is 2, the last term is 29, and sum of the terms is 155. Find the common difference of the AP. Now, before starting the solution of this question, we should know some results. And that is, Sum of n terms of an AP when first term and last term is known is given by Sn that means the sum of n terms is equal to n by 2 into A plus L the whole, where A is the first term, L is the last term, and L are the number of terms in an AP. Also, the last term in an AP, that is, L is equal to A plus N minus 1 the whole into D, where D is the common difference. Now these results will work out as a key idea for solving out this question. And now, we will start with the solution. Here, the first term is given as 2, the last term is 29, and sum of the terms is 155. So here, it is given, the first term of an AP, A is equal to 2, the last term of an AP, L is equal to 29. The sum of the terms of an AP, Sn, is equal to 155. And we have to find the common difference G of an AP. Now by using the formula which is given in the key idea, sum of n terms that is Sn is equal to n by 2 into a plus l the whole. Now putting the values of Sn, l and a here, this implies 155 is equal to n by 2 into 2 plus 29 the whole. This implies 155 into 2 is equal to n into 31, which implies 155 into 2 over 31 is equal to n. Now this implies here 31 into 5 is 155 and 5 into 2 is 10, so 10 is equal to n. Or you can say n is equal to 10. Therefore, the number of terms in an AP is equal to 10. Now using this formula, which is given as a key idea, we have last term, that is L, is equal to A plus N minus 1 the whole into D. Now putting the values of L, A and L here, this implies 29 is equal to 2 plus 10 minus 1 the whole into D. Further, this implies 29 minus 2 is equal to 9D. This implies 27 by 9 is equal to D. 
which implies here 9 into 3 is 27, so D is equal to 3. Therefore, the common difference of an AP that is D is equal to 3. So this is the solution of the given question and that's all for this session. Hope you all have enjoyed the session.